It turns out there are some breast cancers that don't have any of the markers. So now we have something called triple negative breast cancer. And this is probably considered the most aggressive form of breast cancer. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Tucker, founder of Tucker Medical. In this video, I'm going to give you the short history of breast cancer diagnosis, subtype, and treatment. Why is it important to know the history of breast cancer? It's important because we're going to talk about how to personalize treatment of breast cancer. And in order to get the best treatment today, you have to understand where we've come from. So here's the short history. As far back as 100 years ago, breast cancer was treated with surgery alone. Fast forward, we started to discover medications, hormone therapy, and even chemotherapy that could help prevent breast cancer from coming back after surgery. Now, in the history of breast cancer, probably the two most important things to ever know, the two questions to walk away from your consult with are, how big was the tumor and are my lymph nodes involved? Historically, that dictated how we would treat you. Fast forward a little bit more. We discover that on the surface of breast cancer cells are markers, receptors for estrogen and progesterone hormones. And we have medicines that will target those hormones. Studies were done. It was shown that surgery plus hormones is better than surgery alone. So a quick recap, the size of the tumor and the number of lymph nodes are very important to understand the stage of the cancer, the stage one and twos, the stage three, stage four. Next, we need to know, does the tumor have a hormone marker on its surface? Now let's go to the next level we discover a genetic marker in breast cancers, some breast cancers, called HER2. That's H-E-R, number two. And the HER2 protein is a more aggressive version of breast cancer. But wait, there's good news. We also have new medications, non-chemotherapy medications called targeted therapies that are especially effective in HER2 positive breast cancer. So now we're talking about HER2 positive breast cancers with hormones, HER2 positive breast cancers without hormones. We are subtyping the kinds of breast cancer. Okay, are you still with me? It turns out there are some breast cancers that don't have any of the markers. So now we have something called triple negative breast cancer. And this is probably considered the most aggressive form of breast cancer. And it gets a different treatment than the hormone alone or the HER2 positive. And it helps us subtype breast cancer into actually now four different types. We've got triple positive, hormone positive, HER2 positive, triple negative, no markers, and like I said, HER2 positive with hormones and HER2 positive without hormones. Those are the four basic subtypes of breast cancer. Combined with the stage, knowing this biological subtype is gonna help your doctor and help you choose the right curative treatment plan. How do the subtypes of breast cancer dictate different treatment strategies? Well, it's very clear for the oncologist. For those patients who have the triple negative breast cancer subtype, the current standard is a combination of chemotherapy and the newest immune therapy drugs. And we always give the medicine before surgery. That's a change. It's called preoperative systemic treatment or neoadjuvant chemotherapy. The reason we do this it turns out that if we give you medicine before surgery and everything disappears, you're going to do significantly better than the so-called average. If we give chemo 
followed by surgery and there's still breast cancer left over, I can give additional medications to mop up what's been left behind. Another critical value of subtyping breast cancer by biology is that we can choose different treatment strategies. So for the triple negative breast cancer, we often like to give the chemotherapy and the newest immunotherapy drugs before surgery. The same is true for the HER2 positive breast cancers. Clinical trials have clearly shown that giving preoperative therapy is going to shrink the tumor significantly and often make the tumor completely disappear before surgery. For those patients who are hormone positive only without any of the more aggressive features, we have genetic testing that can help identify if chemotherapy is of value later or if hormone therapy is of value. So in summary, the things my patients really need to know, what you need to know no matter where you are, how big is the tumor in the breast? Are the lymph nodes in my armpit involved or not? That's gonna give you the stage. If you have a tumor in the breast, generally small or large, we're gonna call that stage one or two. If there's cancer in the lymph nodes, that's generally stage three, or we often call it regional involvement. If it's spread to the bones or somewhere else in the body, that's the classical stage four. With that information, you're now armed to make the best decisions about how to use surgery, radiation, and medical therapy to cure your breast cancer. And let me give you some positive numbers here. In the United States, the five-year cure rate for stage one and two is 99% if you follow the plan. And for stage three, with the lymph nodes involved, it's 85%. What does that mean? you are overwhelmingly likely to be cured if you follow the standard of care across the world. At Tucker Medical, we believe in personalized care for breast cancer. And we follow that with secondary prevention to make sure it never comes back. We strongly believe in an integrated program that includes primary prevention and personalized screening for you as well as your whole family. If you need to know more about your diagnosis or treatment plan, feel free to contact us, send us a message, click on the link, or reach out in any way that's convenient for you. Thanks again.